What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're gonna be testing the towing capabilities on the midsize truck here. Uh, we're gonna go over and get my brother's trailer. I believe it's around 3,500 pounds uh, weight limit on that trailer, not 3,500 pound weight limit. The trailer weighs 3,500 pounds. And then um, he's also got some mowers on it that we're gonna put on. So the trailer overall, probably close to 5,000 pounds. And I'm gonna show you guys what the weight limits are on this truck right here. I have high hopes for it. Um, but even though, you know, there are high capacities on this truck, just because it says you can do it, doesn't mean you always should, but we're gonna test that today and see how it actually does and kind of see what kind of gas mileage it gets. But we'll go ahead and walk over here and take a look in here. So we're not going to be testing the payload, but the payload is um, 1,500 pounds. Uh, we're not going to be testing that today. But if we come around here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the uh, hitch is rated for 7,700 pounds. And that's what the truck is, weighted, is uh, rated for, so we're going to test that out. We're going to try the trailering apps in the... Uh, dash here and the light systems and see how all that stuff works uh, but we're going to head over and get my brother's trailer and we're going to test it out we're going to do highway and in town pulls um so we'll see how it goes so my brother is working today so he's not back yet with the uh trailer he should be back soon but anyways um we're gonna, one of the things we're gonna test out when we're towing is the uh, trailering app right here, the light test. I'm actually gonna try it with the app on the phone if you have your phone set up um, to connect to your truck, it should work. So we're gonna try that out. We had the checklist and then I believe once we hook the trailer up, it should come up to save the trailer. Um, but we can go ahead and go around the back and uh, I can show you guys the hitch that I bought. I keep it stored in here so people can't steal it because it's actually locked with the tailgate. But see the truck automatically locked. So this is the hitch I got. It's rated for 7,500 pounds, which is plenty since the truck tows 7,700 pounds. It's just 200 less 200 less than the towing capacity of the truck which is fine um, I never actually want to max out my vehicle that's just asking for problems um, just in my opinion asking for problems um, but we'll go ahead and get this all set up and I'm gonna go in say hi to my dad Wait on my brother, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so we've got the trailer back there. We are about to hook it up. We're gonna use this hitch line right here um, to hopefully line this up correctly. There's kind of a shadow, so I can't 100% see it. There we are. Let's see, make sure we're not. Oop, yep. We're a lot taller than the uh, previous truck pulling. So this trailer weighs 3,500 pounds. There is a mower on it that weighs about 1,200, 1,500 pounds. Uh, so we're looking somewhere around 5,000 pounds towing this. Jack this up. And we'll see if that works, if that's close enough. This truck sits up a lot taller than I realized. Still not, still not 
tall enough. So I'm gonna get that hooked up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we got the uh, trailer hooked up. Brother's mowing, so I don't know if you guys can really hear me, but we're gonna sign in. And then we should be able to If I remember how to do this, controls, more, yeah, pro grade trailering on the app, I don't know if you guys can do this, trailer light test, and you hit, I don't know if you guys can really see that, you hit start, light test pending. flashing the lights. thought that the trailering would have came up maybe you have to put it in tow haul mode maybe you put it in that oh and then maybe go to trailering nope nothing okay well we're gonna try normal mode first driving in normal mode oh and I'm gonna get this other camera set up real quick all right guys so we got the trailer hooked up we're in the truck now what we're really going to be watching for is the rpms and the gas mileage which i need to go in here and um, reset this so we know what we're getting we want current trip add to driver display current trip yes and then we're going to get started and i'm going to put this down because i'll be driving i'll pick it up periodically to kind of see where the rpms are at but we're going to get started and we're gonna do this tow test. The only problem is with this mid-sized truck is uh, seeing the mirrors are kind of small and I got my GoPro on the way, the way of this mirror. But so far at these low speeds, it's pulling all right. Like it's not, surprisingly, it's not are there trailer brakes? I don't think there are. My brother said to make sure I have room to stop with this trailer. But like I said, this is about, with that mower on there, this is close to 5,000 pounds. Um, so we're gonna see how it does. We are in normal mode. Um, we're in normal mode. We'll put it on t in tow haul, haul, tow haul mode and see how that does. Uh, but so far these low speeds like just going through this neighborhood right here I don't really feel the trailer back there which is a good thing and RPMs are between two and three thousand um, that's not bad that is not bad at all now the real test is gonna be our fuel mileage and the highway test that's where it'll come into play and it looks like my mirror keeps reading the trailer as my blind spot. So I'll have to do some research myself on how to fix that. I thought, I thought these trucks were supposed to kind of learn that, or maybe I haven't learned how to really set that in there yet. Um, so I'll figure that out. It's about to be noisy for a minute because it's hot in here. I'm turning this air down. Um, but, all right, we're taking off on a slight, slight incline and I feel the, I feel the lag. So far, so good. Like, it's not bad. Like, I'm impressed. I have high hopes for this truck. Just because, you know, older V8s, like, the power and the torque factor is comparable for an older V8 versus a newer four-cylinder. I mean, in my opinion, they should feel about the same. Uh, so far, this feels good. Uh, we are pulling at low speeds, and we're getting... Like three miles per gallon, but we only went half a mile. But we'll 
see once we get on a more open road, steady speed, see if it goes up. But yeah, this is so far like I'm impressed with how this feels. Like it's not bad at all. Like the front end doesn't feel light or anything. Um, yeah, this is I'm impressed. And this is without the tow haul mode on. This is just a normal driving mode. Probably do tow haul mode on the highway. See if that feels better. I got all kinds of stuff on me. Yeah, this is not bad at all. I am impressed. Now let's see it pulling out onto a road. 3,000 RPMs and it shifted. Okay, so that's not bad at all. Let's see, doing 35 miles an hour. Let's see what stopping is like. on here are good. Um, I don't know if I don't think this trailer has trailer brakes on it. So. We're about to get on the highway and see how it does. We're going to go on the highway in normal mode and then on the way back we will do tow haul mode see if there's a noticeable difference. Which there should be. But ourselves just our own little test here but so far like not going over 3,000 rpms I mean I'm not lead footed or anything I accelerate at a reasonable speed um, you know like when you're pulling a trailer you don't need to floor it that's just how you break stuff I need it. 
needed to haul some furniture or help somebody out or something, this truck is perfectly capable. There are not a lot of trailers the normal person needs to pull that's going to be over 5,000 pounds. I mean, this trailer by itself is 3,500. Fully loaded with some furniture, you might hit 5,000 pounds. Um, I mean, with this one mower, it's 5,000. If I had both of my brother's mowers on here, it might struggle a little bit more. Um, it looks like we're going to hit 8 miles per gallon. We're at 7.565 miles an hour. So, not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I'll show you guys right here. We're steady cruising at 20... 2,000, 2,500 RPMs. If I put a little gas, it kind of goes up a little bit. 7.4 miles per gallon, 65, 67 miles per hour. It is not bad at all. And then we're gonna do a little loop. And we're gonna, I can't, the only problem is like, I don't like this trailer because you can't really see behind me. It needs a camera for sure. If this was my trailer, I'd probably put a camera back there just to, you know, flip on your rear view mirror and see it. But truck is bouncy though compared to a full size truck. I think um, I've had full size trucks, and this suspension is a little bit more uh, jumpy. Than those. And that's just because this is a lighter truck. That front end is bouncing a little bit. This didn't really squat my truck that much. Like it squatted it a little bit. Not a whole lot though. And we're at eight miles per gallon. There it is. And we're at this stoplight here. We are going to switch to tow haul mode. And we're gonna see if that changes anything for us. 8.2 miles per gallon, five mile drive. Not bad, not bad at all. I know tow haul, it's gonna let us reach higher RPMs, higher shift points. Um, and I am impressed with what these half size trucks. We have, we actually have my grandpa's full size early 2000s Silverado with the cat eyes. And uh, this mid size truck next to those older full size trucks, they're like practically the same size. This truck is just slightly wider. But tow haul mode, I definitely feel a little bit more torque. Um, it puts down a little bit more torque. The getting up to speed is easier. I can feel a noticeable difference. So if I'm pulling a heavier trailer, I'm definitely going to use tow haul mode, which obviously you should. Um, that's what it's for. Now, if I was towing a smaller trailer, would I worry about it? Not so much. Um, but honestly, eight miles per gallon is not bad. My brother is big. Ram 2500 gets eight miles per gallon. So, and it's a big diesel truck, so I'm impressed. Um, this is great. Now, granted, his truck probably can do 80 miles per hour a lot faster than mine, or not a lot faster, but a lot easier than mine. Um, if there wasn't a semi in front of me, I would probably hit 70, 75 and see what it would do. But this truck feels I'm happy with my decision to get this mid-size truck. Dogs can fit in here. I got four-wheel drive. You can tow a big trailer. And I was telling people, we're almost nine miles per gallon, by the way. And I was telling somebody, like, 5,000 pounds, that's a 30-foot camper. Not that I would need a 30-foot camper, but just to put it in perspective of what you can tow, it's quite a bit. Not very many people tow more than five, six thousand pounds. Um, that would be like you'd be hauling goose necks and stuff all the time. If that's what you were hauling. But with tow haul mode, we are at just under, well, we just hit nine miles per gallon, 65 mile an hour speed, 2,000 RPMs. Uh, we're dropping speed just because of the semi in front of us. But yeah, this is amazing. And I don't know if we go over to trailer there's still nothing here I, I thought there was gonna be more stuff popping up but I guess that's an extra add-on I'm not sure um, but the light test works so whatever but this is insane and we're gonna go up uh, to another different street so we can hit some stop 
some lights and stuff and do some stop and go with the tow haul. But we're, uh, I mean, I drop speed. We're doing 50 now because we're stuck behind the semi. I mean, I don't, this is the first time towing with this truck, so I don't really want to try to get over and cut somebody off, you know. Um, but 9.5 miles per gallon is not bad at all. Now we're getting over 3,000 RPMs, back up to 65 miles an hour. And you guys let me know if I'm talking too much. Let me know if you want me to talk less or you're good with it. I'm just trying to explain what I'm seeing here. Um, traffic is slow today. And like just doing that, switching lanes and accelerating, I didn't lose any any fuel mileage. I'm up to 9.6. So but we're gonna get we're gonna actually get over. I need to find, if you're towing anything wider than what I'm towing right now, this is probably altogether a foot wider than the truck. If you're towing anything wider, I would suggest looking into maybe some extended mirrors, especially if you're gonna get a camper or something. Like we're up to 10 miles per gallon. This is, this is just exciting. GM did good with this and the uh, Colorado's like this is amazing now the only killer would be when you get behind somebody that's going slow and then you got to keep accelerating but like right now 10 miles per gallon I don't know what it would average in the long run we'll have to do a longer test in another video um, my brother needs his trailer so I can't steal it for the whole day because um, this is his business he needs it but if you guys are in the uh, Tulsa Broken Arrow area, I know a guy that, you know, does lawn care. And he does real good. You just leave a comment down below and I'll get a hold of you. But now we're at some stoplights. We're going to see how the tow haul mode does more in town. This is... This is ah! great. This is awesome. I'm excited. Like, I was nervous how this truck would do being a mid-sized truck, but it, 10 miles per gallon, I'm happy with that. I mean, my F-150 in high school, it probably got six to eight, and it was a V8. You know, these newer trucks, like just a four-cylinder turbo, it's crazy what these things can do. And I was nervous. I wouldn't get a full-size truck with a four-cylinder turbo just because you expect a little bit more out of it but in this truck i was still nervous that it would run at high rpms and you know that's not always the best for the engine to constantly be running at that but this has not went over 3000 rpms all the temps seem fine um the oil temp up there it seems a little slightly elevated but nothing concerning i don't know if i got that on camera but um all the other temps are normal Impressed. Like we can probably go in here and see uh, engine voltage, coolant temperature is normal, transmission temp is normal, slightly elevated, but that's because we're putting it to work. Oil pressure is normal, oil temp slightly elevated because we're putting it to work. But yeah, I mean, 10.2 miles per gallon over 10 mile distance not bad at all this thing really does that low end torque that it has you do not notice the trailer back there now right there we hit just under 3500 rpms taking off from a stop in tow haul mode but in normal mode it didn't do that so i'm assuming that's just that higher shift point that you have in the tow haul mode Honestly, the brakes on this truck, for this trailer not having brakes, the brakes on this truck are plenty to stop the 5,000 pound load up back there. Um, yeah, this is, I couldn't be happier with my decision. If you guys are trying to decide whether you need a mid-size or full-size truck, if you don't haul anything all the time and you just 
just need four wheel drive and something to haul periodically, this is the truck for you. This is plenty. But anyways, we're back at the starting point. Overall, we did just a little 10 mile trip, got 10.1 miles per gallon. Half of it was in normal mode, half of it tow haul. Tow haul is definitely better if you're, you know, got these bigger trailers. You can definitely feel a difference in the uh, throttle response and your acceleration. Um, like, I'm happy. I couldn't be happier with my decision to get a mid-size truck over a full-size truck especially because I don't haul things all the time. My plans in the future are to get a small camper. Um, yeah, this is just, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm happy with my decision, but I'm gonna end the video there. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.